another video to another NBA 2K15 my career Terrence Gonzalez. I'm the sports gamer back with another video. So in this video I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the trade deadline. What I was surprised about, what moves that I was good, what moves that I was bad, etc. etc. And this is going to be an especially long video, so this is the perfect time to talk about the trade deadline. First of all, what I was surprised uh, what my surprises were. First of all, the first surprise was that Michael Carter Williams was traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. I certainly did not expect that. And, well, I, I, I will later soon talk about what I thought about the trade. And, uh, I honestly, well, I'll go with that later. Another surprise was uh, seeing Isaiah Thomas go to the Phoenix Suns. Certainly did not see that coming. Another move was Norris Cole going to the Norris Pelicans. Which uh, I did not know was going to happen. So, in, well, I also did not expect Brandon Knight to go to the Phoenix Suns or... Well, let's see. Oh, I also did not expect... I also, in fact, I did not even see it coming. I didn't even know until the... Uh, I think the morning after the trade deadline... Gonzalo Reggie Jackson going to the Detroit Pistons. Nice it it was, a, in my opinion, the biggest Lawrence surprise the uh, uh, of the, you know, the biggest surprise. You know, that was like really, you know, like, not like really like a, like a, a sarcastic really. That was like a really like surprise. Really? Now let's go into good. Uh, what I think are good moves I mean, in the. Led them to this on the, after the uh, trade deadline, first of all, Ball let's see, good move. Thunder and uh, Detroit Pistons. I mean, yeah, the, the Thunder lose Reggie Jackson, but in exchange they get more players, which uh, right now they have, uh, let's just say, I think, in my opinion, I think they have more depth. Uh, they got a lot more in exchange. And they traded for, although Reggie Jackson was having a good year in the NBA. So let's see how it goes for Reggie Jackson and the Detroit Pistons. Well, I, 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 I don't know if he was unhappy with the Thunder. And if he was, I certainly did not know it I, until the sometime, you know, at some time after the trade deadline. The other good move in the trade deadline, I'm going to take a one with the North Pole going to the going to the nearly selection. Now, he may be able to help the the, the, the Pelicans to go. Let's, let's not stay to playoffs, but let's just say have a, a make help the Pelicans fight a little more and make a bigger fight in the, in the Western Conference. Although I don't see the Pelicans, Pelicans going to playoffs at this point, the Thunder are now in playoff position. But I think it's the eighth place. Back, back to point. In by Los and so yeah, those are the good ones. I, I, th I thought were good moves. Now bad moves. First of all, Milwaukee Bucks trading for Michael Carter Williams. The Bucks are not the, the the team that I had the problem with. It's the 76ers. Once again, they're Here's involved the in a Randall. trade where they get Gonzalez absolutely nothing in exchange, or at least they get some kind of garbage in exchange. 
Back to Gonzalez. Fourth of all, by a, the Kevin Lofty back the in the yacht season. I remember that, you know, after, after, uh, after that, and all of a sudden, Michael Carter Williams and Williams gets traded to the Milwaukee to Bucks. Okay, Thaddeus Young, that was one up. thing. LA has gone one of three from outside but Michael Carter Williams, Williams I, I don't know if he was the kind of the, the future of the team the or whatever, but this guy had potential. This Gonzalez team with it. certainly made a huge mistake by trading him. I, I just don't understand the 76ers. Are, are they losing on purpose? Is that it? Well, they, they are doing it. It's certainly working. So he this, comes this up team is just, I don't, I don't know what the GM is doing or what he's quarter. planning, but he, he if he is thinking, sorry, if, if he, I, I don't know if he's even thinking at all because these trades that, get, that I, I have seen from Tennessee, the are ridiculous. I mean, come on, who else, who else would do such a desperate trade like that? Which meant that Gonzalez they would be trading, I don't know, their best player ne ne uh, or some of their Griffin best players on the team. Now Griffin inside. Oh, he got left it is in the what it quarter. is. There's nothing else they can do about it. The line is over. Yeah, that's the bad trade. That's it. That's the bad trade. I thought that it was a bad trade. Because the trade that I thought it was a bad trade. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. For more NBA G15 Micro Return from Dallas. Shout out to Goofy Raccoon, Swaggy J, Back for the Gaming, Ivancito Perez, Omar Love, G2.4, Fernal Gaming, Waffle Man 60, and ESD Net. Forty-six points, that's a big time game. Not a lot of problems for you putting up impressive numbers in this win. Did you come into the game expecting to score like you did? Yes, yes I did. I come into every game looking to do something special. And tonight, I got it done. If you don't come into every game expecting to set a new level of excellence for yourself, then what's the point? If you're coasting and not trying to put up big numbers, then you're just collecting a paycheck in my book. That's the one thing fans can count on with me. Each time they see me play, they can rest easy knowing that I'm trying to do something special out there. Put on a show, you feel me?